Waterleaf, known as Talinum Trangule, is one of those underrated and undervalued plants in Nigeria. Some regard it as museums, a stubborn weed that grows all year, and this is why I want to talk about how important is it to you and your umbrellas. It flourishes more during the rainy season and can be gotten anywhere. The crude protein content of water leaves and tender stem is found to be as high as 29.4% and 13.4%. On this video, I'm going to tell you the importance of this leaf to you and to your chickens. In fact, water leaf extract has appetizing and digestion stimulating properties that will enhance your broiler's growth and weight rapidly. I will also give bonus tip at the end of this video, so ensure to watch till the end. What's up my people and welcome to Life of a Farmer Loaf. You can also follow me on my Facebook page at Life of a Farmer Loaf for regular updates. I remain your anchor, Ishokri Fokinroye. You can call me Overruns. On this channel, we discuss farming in details, how to grow your farm, challenges faced by farmers and how to control them. So ensure to subscribe and click the bell icon to get regular updates whenever I upload a new video. Don't forget to give this video a like, comment and most importantly share for others to benefit. Without wasting your time, let's dive into the main cocoa. Just like grasses in the field, water leaf grows everywhere and anywhere. The truth is that the more we weed them out, the more they grow. If you care for the health of your umbrellas and you want to make profit, then you should watch this video till the end carefully. Water leaf is an edible leafy vegetable that belongs to the Portulaceae family. It was originally from West Africa before spreading to other parts of the world, such as Asia and South America. Water leaf is a herbaceous perennial plant that has its stem above ground. The seed sprouts as a tiny aqua-colored plant before growing into a more conspicuous plant with larger leaves. It is called water leaf because of its high moisture content of approximately 90 grams per 100 grams of the leaf. The leaf is sticky when caught and this is attributed to its high protein content that supplies the dietary fiber. I would say without missing word that water leaf is one of the most valuable healing herbs known to you. Just because they are cheap and available, we tend to take them for granted and don't appreciate their availability. Like most succulent plants, water leaves and stems, especially young ones, are easy to crush. This tenderness often makes it to appear green white as a yearly plant. It thrives in humid conditions. It even grows on poor sandy soil and in places where other leafy vegetables won't grow. It can be easily propagated from seed and cuttings and is ready to be harvested in less than two months. It spreads so easily from seed and in some places it is classified as agricultural weed as it tends to uproot it away. Let me discuss a little about its benefit to we humans. The leaves are excellent for diarrhea, liver enlargement and hepatitis. It is an excellent immune booster to those who often feel weak and tired and those prone to frequent attacks of malaria fever. There are indications from research that consumption of water leaf enhances brain activities and protects brain tissues. Water leaf is also a good remedy for insomnia which is popularly called sleeping disorder. Let me surprise you more. Water leaf crude protein content competes favorably with that of cowpea, peanuts, millet, and cashew nuts, and it has more pectin, which is a food fiber that helps digestion than apples, and also have high level of vitamin B, essential amino acids, omega-3 fatty acids, resins, iron, calcium, copper, lead, magnesium, and zinc. It is also a rich source of carotenoids, vitamin C, vitamin A, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, alpha and beta tocopherols. Pounded water leaf can be applied to soothe inflammation. An infusion of the leaves can be taken as a diuretic for prostate enlargement. The roots are boiled and the dosage is just half a glass that will be taken twice daily. Water leaf helps to prevent anemia as well as boost the blood level. This is because the plant has the ability to clear bilirubin from blood, 
which suggests that it can help the red cells to remain longer and be effectively utilized by the body. Water leaf is packed with essential antioxidants and soluble fibers that act as main lysergative. So, if you want to treat any irregularities in your body and restore your body to normalcy, eat enough water leaf. The high dietary content of this vegetable can help to slow down the digestion and conversion of starch to simple sugars. Water leaf regulates the cholesterol level due to the high dietary fiber content. One study found out that water leaf prevents cancer due to the high antioxidant found in it. The benefits of water leaf goes on and on, but for the sake of time, let me throw more light on how to use it in poultry. One can substitute water leaf for poultry feed as animal feed are presently becoming so expensive. Water leaf, if gotten in large quantity, can be used as water leaf meal supplement for soya bean meal and granite cake while formulating brellas feed. Water leaf meal is an ideal protein supplement for brellas, especially for brella finisher, and it doesn't have any detrimental effect on their performance. While water leaf is beneficial when it is taken as vegetable, the best way to get the best results is juicing. To do this, just simply chop water leaf, both the stem and the leaves, into pieces in the same way as you do if you want to cook it. Then put two or three handfuls in the blender and add one liter of water. Sieve at the shaft and you will be left with a dark green liquid that is packed with vitamins and minerals. So if you want to get a 100% benefit from your water leaf juice, drink it within 10 to 15 minutes. Then now let's discuss about poultry beds. For poultry beds, in order to use water leaf for your poultry beds, get a reasonable quantity of water leaf of about 1 to 2 kg and wash it. Once this is done, put in blender and blend with not more than 1 liter of water to get a smooth paste. Then sieve or filter it to get the juice out. Once this has been done, then you can now mix it with their drinking water at a rate of 300 to 400 ml to every 1 liter of water. This drink should be given once or twice a day at a go and wash the massive weight of your brellas within a short period. And here is a bonus point for you. But before then, kindly subscribe and click the bell icon to get regular updates whenever I upload a new video. Don't forget to give this video a like, comment and most importantly, share for others to benefit. You can also follow me on my Facebook page at Life of a Farmer Loaf for regular updates. Thanks for giving me the thumbs up. So the bonus point I have for you is that do not leave this recipe to stay longer than one hour after preparing. This is the surest way to get the best result from it. And secondly, give to your brellas at least three to five days in a week. So if you are administering it to your brellas, just administer it just like you are giving Lasota vaccine or Gomboro vaccine to your beds. Try this and thank me later. I believe you've gotten tangible information from this video. Thanks and God bless. See you in my next video. Peace out.